You will be defeated by ground. Okay. Hey, Taz, what's up? Cheers, thanks, man. To the face. <laughs> hey, Melanie. Hello, Sun Paws. Taz, you need to officially change your uh, trainer name to Taz Paws <laughs> or, or Tazzy Paws. <laughs> All right, check on that grunt. I'm not going to wear the face mask all stream just because, uh, well, I don't need to. I'm inside. <laughs> I just kind of want to show it off. But yeah, these are really nice masks. They're um, triple layer um, storm tech masks uh, with adjustable strings and nose piece. So they're really great at um, fitting just right. I will do that later trying to get the Discord to upload photo. Uh, Melanie, they are ready to be ordered now. There is, if you check out the merch channel in Discord, it's kind of under, it's at the very bottom of the welcome section. Why is it going off the side? Uh, the info on there, how to order them is uh, there. This is the prototype. So this is like the first one. I've got a... Um, I think we're picking the rest of them up this weekend. Yeah, I got a starter order... Um, in they're being pressed and everything this weekend i'll probably be picking up this weekend or monday um and then uh go from there if i i need to get more hey luther what's up but uh yeah they're gonna be selling for um 25 25 canadian uh normal uh, supporters and mods can buy them for 20 and then I'm doing shipping at five bucks Canadian, uh, but that covers worldwide anywhere in the world. So the States, Europe, everywhere. So, but yeah, they're really nice face masks. Um, so yeah, you have, let's take it off here. Uh, it gets close. So you have like to the face and it gets bigger as it goes over there as the Pokemon exclamation mark. Uh, has the cat paws logo on the other side right there but yeah they're triple layered uh, they're really comfortable they have adjustable drawstrings so they're really nice masks i am in canada uh yeah so the to the face slogan masks are gonna be um they're up and ready for orders um just check out the merch channel uh, on Discord um, uh, under welcome. It's kind of in the bottom there. The details and the prices are there. And all you got to do is basically just um, send uh, send the money to my pay PayPal account and send me either a message on the PayPal, um, obviously who you are mailing, how many you want, etc. Or DM me on Discord. And uh, yeah, and... Um, I'll pop him in the mail and send him out as soon as possible. All right, so just one second. Just put my glasses back on because I don't. They get kind of fogged up when uh, we're in mass, so I want to keep them off there for a second. <laughs> also, I want to be able to drink my coffee, so I'm not going to wear the mask for the restroom. I'll put it back on later. So yesterday I did some battles 
Um, I don't stream. I didn't stream. I don't stream on Fridays, but I did battles yesterday, and. I was having really having a lot of fun uh, with this team right here, the Triple Fairy team, Clefable, Azu, and Wigglytuff. Uh, I went three two average with it. I went like a couple four ones, three twos, and like a two three. So it worked out to be about three two average. Same as kind of uh, most other days, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, it definitely crushed certain teams, and I had a hard time against other ones. But I was somewhat sticking with this team. But I'm gonna make one adjustment to start the day. And I'm actually going to run uh, Galarian Stunfisk in the middle instead of Azu. Uh, because I just feel like against things like Bashidon, Stunfisk is actually um, the better option. So, where's my Stunfisk? Uh, no, I don't want to obfuscate. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to run that for fun. See how it goes. Uh, Noob Slayer, I gotta get working on some artwork of my own, just for the, nice. Oh my god, where are your glasses? Quick people, battle him now for a win. <laughs> I can still see, I'm, like, my, my vision is fine for close medium. I only really need, um, the glasses for distance, for, like, reading, driving, that kind of stuff. But my close to near vision is actually pr pretty, uh, pretty good, so... I'm not blind closed up. Um, I could actually, I could stream fine without wearing glasses. Which you should. Nice, Melanie. Awesome. Yeah, send me your address and I'll um, put it in the mail as soon as I have them in my hand. They're being, uh, they, they're going to be, um, they're getting pressed up and made uh, this weekend. So I should hopefully we'll get them later on this weekend or Monday and get them sent out right away. Yuck, triple charm. Oh, uh, yeah, it, 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 was, it was a lot of fun. All right. Let's do some battles here and see what happens. Like I said, I had a lot of fun playing Triple Fairy, but I kind of feel like I want to have Stunfisk. Because I found certain things were a little harder to deal with. Um, hey, Corey. Happy Saturday, indeed. All right. Mm, Bros Raid. Not the best, not the worst start here. Switches to Stunfisk. Okay, I'm going to switch to my Stunfisk as well. Mm. I feel like he had a bit more charge advantage on me. Yeah, Earthquake. Okay, I'm going to try to fake out a shield with a rock slide here. See what he does. Shields it. Okay. Mm. Going to risk it. Oh, I earthquaked. Dang. I might have screwed this up. I thought I must have counted that wrong. I thought he only had a rock slide there. Yeah, second attack. Earthquake, oof. GG, he's got this one. I'm going to get sludge bombed by this, by this poison type. Dang. Kind of a rough start there. Oh, he grass knotted me. He's still going to get me. I don't have a shield. I'm going to get fire weather bold. Dang. We'll do Pogo later if it uh, lets me remember where it is. Fair enough. Yeah, it's in the settings. 
All right, so a bit of a rough start there. That was kind of a hard match, but still going to keep going. I think this team's going to be a lot of fun today. Should have shield on the stun fisk. I don't know. I, I I thought he only had a rock slide there. Ooh. Venusaur. Definitely seen hard counters opening tonight. Hmm. Go we'll block here. Frenzy plants me. Oh, come on. You got his second one in there first. What fast attack do you have on Stunfisk? Uh, mud shot. Thanks. I really needed to get that off. Dang it. I really needed that, um... Meter mash to go off. That's annoying. He also has a stun fisk. Gross. Dang. Tough start today. I was having a lot of fun. Like yesterday, like when I started out, I was seeing nothing but like dark Pokemon, uh, fighting Pokemon, stuff like that. Like things that like you just smash with charm. Today's been a bit of a tough one, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Mm. Darn. Rough start. Might, I don't know, maybe I go back. To, I was also thinking about maybe playing Politoed instead, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to go Stunfist, but I haven't really seen. It's only a couple battles. It's really hard to tell at this point. Um, I need to get multi charge there. He still had a shield. It didn't matter. Yeah. I don't know, I, I've been seeing, like, it really depends on what you come across, because sometimes you see lots of fighting types, because everyone, like, because everyone started running, like, Bashidon to counter, um, like, Talonflame and all the flying Pokemon, so people have been running lots of, like, rock teams and stuff, um, so everyone went with a lot, of, okay, here we go, here's a good start for us, finally, there's an Altaria, I've also seen a massive increase of Altarias, um, on on the go, which is another reason why I went flying, because I feel like Altaria's um, amount of play has really gone up. Nice oh, sludge wave that one, that's fine. So yeah, it really depends on what um, what you come across. He comes back with the Altaria. Interesting. I don't mind charming him out. I'll take the first Sky Attack. Because Altaria has also been like really popular at taking out things like Talonflame because it's Dragon, so it's, it's resistant to things like... Um, And he gives up. Nice. Okay. It's like, it's resistant to fire. So I feel like Altaria really started making a return, which, um, cause I saw like a lot of Altarias the other day, which made me kind of want to play fairy again. So I think it really depends on what we see. GG's though. All right, let's go again. Nice. Another good open here. Metachan. 
Hopefully force a switch again. Okay, he goes Stunfisk. I'll go Stunfisk. I'll mirror him. He's a little ahead of me on the charge, though. Ugh, I can't risk it. It's so close to tell. It's Earthquake. Yeah. I'm going to go Rock Slide. Go for the lower attack. See if we can get a rip, a rip a shield for cheap. I'm going to block his next attack no matter what this time. Um, we'll block here again. Yeah, I decided to try out Stun Fisk today just to see how it was going to go. Um, I don't know. I thought it was either this or play Politoed straight up. Uh, he lets his Stun Fisk go though. Comes back with Metachan. Okay, we'll go back to Clefable here. Okay, he's got Bastio. That's fine. I have a second Fairy type. So, I'm going to get a Meteor Mash in here. Um, we'll obviously lose uh, Clefable, but then we'll bring back in our... Um, I was running Triple Fairy yesterday for fun. Kind of hilarious. Okay, I'm going to go Rock Slide here first. See if I can rip that shield. And then I'll go for Earthquake. I will be able to survive one Flamethrower, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he took it too. Interesting. Guess he really wants to keep that shield for his Metachan then. He flamethrowers me. I survive. Switches back. Okay, we got Earthquake here. Blocks with the shield. Switch over to our other fairy type. Ice beam should be enough. Yeah, I could have double rock slided there. Um, but it worked out fine. Rock slide wouldn't have done... Hitting with one rock slide would have not done that much damage. So, it all worked out. GG's. Alright, another win. So, we're 2-2 two and two now. With the double fairy team. Let's see what happens in this next one. Clefable. Umbreon. Great start. Fairy into dark. Nice. Force him to switch out right away, I'm thinking. Goes to Jellison. Okay, so we're going to go uh, Wigglytuff for this one because he's normal and the Ghost Shadow Ball and stuff won't do as much damage. We can take those. He might Ice Beam me, but I know Shadow Ball uh, won't hurt me. Because of the normal typing. Yeah, he shadow balls me. Nope. We're normal. Not very effective. Down goes Jell. <laughs> What's he going to come back with? He's not going to want to come back with his Umbreon. And he just quits because he knows. Ha! <laughs> this team is really mean. Like against some teams, it's just, it's really mean. I don't usually double type like this, but I decided to mix it up and have some fun. And I'm just seeing so many things where, um, like lots of dark teams, lots of fighting teams. So nice, a shield in, good candy. I have a I have a Bastion, I, I, I an XL Bastion. I want to power up eventually. It's for like a level fifty Bastion. 
But it's gonna take a lot of XL candy. Save that shield in. Yep. Because we'll distance trade it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's go. All right, so almost a level 19, getting close. 3,100 dust there. All right, so 3-2 to start. Let's try this again. Casey, MC. Clefable, Polytoad, okay. Not too shabby here. Smash them down. Um, so he's multi-charged up. I'm going to block the first one because if he does use a bigger attack, I block it. If it's Weather Ball, okay, it's Weather Ball. Save that one. And I know I can take the next one here because uh, he's used energy, and I don't think he'll have like a Blizzard or Earthquake at this point. He might. Oh, he does, just barely. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll bring our other Clefable. And he comes in with a Fighting type. That's weird. Um, cross chop ain't gonna do that much. It'll do some, but we get rid of that guy. And it's a dragon. Nice. Alright, ice beam here. So we'll get a shield. I guess that's why he brought that in. Try to do some damage, because if I'd blocked that, he wouldn't have got me on autos. Ah, oh, we take each other out. Stun Fist doesn't even have to come out. Double Fairy Takedown. Nice. Yeah, lots of dragons. Or I, I've been noticing lots of dragons coming back, so I wanted to play Fairy. And, yeah. And I like the Fairy option to counter dragons more because it also gets things like Dark and Fighting types where Ice is kind of more vulnerable to those. So, yeah. All right, good GG, GG. Ooh. Hauntor. Okay, so that's kind of gross. Poison type here. We got to watch out for... Um, okay, I'm going to block. Okay, Shadow punches me. I'm going to switch to Stun Fisk. Um, because... He Shadow Punches again, not that big of a deal. Uh, interesting move there. I guess he... I can see, like, the fire attack is super effective, but... He's not really going to, like, Rock Slide either. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. Um, I'm going to block as well. Because I want to get another rock slide in for sure here. Flame charges. Rock slide again coming in. Shields as well. Flame charges again. Okay, we'll come back with Cafable. That's fine. Uh, we'll Psychic here. Should get rid of the bird. Almost. Okay, so he's just going to get me with another flame charge. In comes Wigglytuff. Can we get rid of him? Down goes the Haunter. And back in Umbreon. Nice! This is huge! Didn't, he didn't have any, any charge for a Sludge Bomb. Last resort coming at us, folks. But we'll get uh, Play Rough off and smash him down. Last resort. It's not going to be enough resort, though. 
and quit. Nice. GG. Big victories. Double fairy and stun fisk. Alright. Just gonna throw it back on. Because there's lots of new people in the channel. Just wanted to let everyone see it. So for anyone else who's new into the channel, didn't see it in the beginning, the To The Face masks are now available. This is my prototype. This is my finished copy. Uh, there's Storm Tech masks, triple layered. Um, check them out. To The Face, Pokemon exclamation mark, the Cat Paws Meowth Inspire logo. Uh, if you want to get one, details are available on the Discord server under the merch channel, and welcome. Just want to show that off because there's a lot of new people here on the channel, in case you're interested. But let's get back to battles. Clefable. Okay, up against nine tails. And it's the ice version, all right. Mm, okay, I'll block the first one. Weather balls me, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take the second one, I should survive it. Tazzy paws. He, he, it is. It's Tazzy Paws. Nice. He changed his name. Alright, we got rid of the Nine Tails. Comes in with a Politoed. So let's Psychic and maybe we get the debuff. Psychic coming in. And we're going to just keep smashing them. Good chunk of damage there. Okay, we'll come in with our other um, Wigglytuff. Block the first one. You weather balls. Okay. Be right back. Sounds good, Tazzy Paws. Weather ball again. Okay, so I don't have a big shot coming at me. Just another weather ball. Okay. We should survive. And then take up the Toad. And then we just got his last Pokemon to deal with. Gets me there. And it's a Pelican. Okay, let's see if we can get to that Ice Beam. Before he gets anything in. Alright, he's going to Weather Ball us. But we did a good chunk of damage. Pelipper. Pelipper. Hmm. One water, other ball. This is going to be a close one. How much damage do we take? Oof. Rock slide. He might get me just because he's going to get his water weather ball off before I get my second rock slide in. Darn his shield. She All right, yeah. Blocks it for sure. I think he's going to just get me. Yeah. Too bad. GG. It was a good match. It was fun. All right. So, all right. That was three. We got two wins. We're still on a pretty good run, though. I'm, I'm, we can't win them all, but so, that was a good one. Um... Nat Pat. All right, let's go. Clefable up against Scrafty. All right, huge start. Double vulnerable. He's going to have to switch right away. Goes to Hypno. Okay, I'm going to switch to... Um, Stunfisk here, actually. Shadow Balls me. Okay, we'll rock slide first. See if we can get a shield. 
He blocks it, okay. All right, we're Earthquake this time. If he doesn't block, we pretty much take him out. Okay, so we get rid of the Hypno. Bat comes in. Scrafty here. Rock slide him though. Oh, we get the other shield. Nice. I'm happy with that. So we go down. Uh, we'll come back in with Clefable. He switches. Ooh, he's got his own Stunfisk. Hmm. We'll block. Rock slides. Okay, we'll Meteor Mash here. It's not going to do too much, but I want to get a hit in. Switch over to Fable. I mean, Wigglytuff. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I'm going to block. I don't want to take an Earthquake. He might rock slide, but he earthquakes. Hey, good block, good block. Hmm. Getting close to that ice beam. Rock slides again. Okay. Okay, ice beam coming in. All right, so we got rid of. We take him down. I don't have to worry about the. Scrafty. We'll be able to get him with double charmers. And he quits. Nice. GG. Big victories. Taz pause. <laughs> oh, Taz, it's awesome. Welcome to the ta the cat paws official family. <laughs> I love it. GG, Taz. GG. Thanks, everyone. All right, let's keep going. Having fun. Double fairies and sunfisks. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty evil team. Uh, but it does lose, lose a little bit here, though, but it's fun. Meta-chan. All right, another great start. Switches. Okay, we'll switch two. Uh, we'll go to ours. We'll block. Oh, he did the rock slide trick too. Well, I'm going to do it as well. And see if he shields or not. He, if he doesn't, I'm going to feel like a real goof if I don't, if I didn't earthquake. Okay, he shields as well. Hmm. Oh, I knew it was Rock Slide too. I knew it. Dang. And then I didn't even get my attack in there. Dang. I tapped on it too last second. I tapped the shield, but I didn't um, detect it. Oh man, I thought about it. I was like, yeah, last second I didn't. I was almost didn't tap that shield, but then it took it in. Dang it. Hmm. Mean. The Stunfisk mirror match is really annoying. I don't like it. It's one of those ones where you have to like guess out your opponent. You're kind of trying to fake out. You do an earthquake. It's like the Hypno mirror match. All right. Oh, he's got Bastion on. That's gross. That's really gross. I'm go I'm going double fairy, but he's got Bastion and Stunfisk. That's mean. That's like the I there's no way I could have beaten this team. It didn't matter how well I outplayed the um if I played a Stunfisk. No way. That's just that's a hard counter for my team. Bastio and oh well not much I could do with that one
Oh, well. GG. He is very vulnerable to other things, though. Like, against, like, someone who's running something like Polytoad, a fighting type, he's pretty mean to, um, vulnerable to other things, so. Eh. So, we do go 3-2 again, though, overall, so, uh, it's still a winning record. I'm happy about that. I'll take it. Get ourselves another shield in for some extra candy. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Not too bad. Just having a little fun here. Um, slowly working our way to rank 19. Hopefully one more set of battles will get us there. Uh, let's go again. I'm still liking Double Fairy all the way. All, all, the same. I feel like I feel more of the time more often you'll find lots of counters to take out the the steel types. Cause everyone's running them to kill the birds, but uh Ooh, interesting start. Mel metal. Um I guess he rock slides me. I don't usually see Mel Metal that much anymore. Just because it's so um It's a little glassy. But um Rock Slides again. I used to really love my Mel Metal. I just found that there's so many mud bombers and stuff in this meta that you just lose to it. It just dies. Hmm. Now, is he super powering me or not? Ah, he did. He's super powered. I wasn't sure if he was going to fake out the shield. He double super powered, so he's definitely going down. I wasn't sure if he was going to go rock slide, then super power, fake out the shield, and then go for the hit. Comes in with Azu, so we'll Earthquake him here. Hmm. I guess he's just charging up for whatever I come up with next. Shields it. Okay, that's fine. Switch over to Clefable, get a couple ch charm hits in there, go down, take the hit. Plays rough, okay. Go back to Wigglytuff here. Hydro Pump, oof, mean. Uh, comes in with a dragon, though. That's not very smart. Well, I guess he has no choice. Alright, so Ice Beam here. Get rid of the Altaria. And take out his Azu. Uh, Taz Paws. So what's your top pick for Pokemon that aren't allowed in PvP soon? Mm, good question. Good question. Let's take a look. Um, so, uh, if we go by... See, that really depends, because we're not quite sure how... Poke, if we're going for Battle League, we're not quite sure how um, Battle League and Pokemon Go itself is going to um, figure that out. If you go by what Sylph is doing for the Vortex Cup... Um, that's a different story. Uh, so where was I, so where was my Vortex Cup stuff? Um, Can you make a tag for I it? did tag it. Where is it? Evo, JP, Scrap. Down at the bottom. Your other bottom. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just... Are you missing it? Forfeit. Yeah, I didn't think I tagged that many things. Um. For so this is kind of okay. So this is the all right. Yeah, I guess I went through all the all the options of things that. So the Vortex Cup is on Sylph Road, and there's like a bunch of Pokemon that aren't allowed uh, in that one. So it kind of playing off what that is. So it's pretty much anything fairy, um, Bastiodon, most of the good fighting types. Um, so this is kind of the bulk of the stuff that isn't there. Um, so some of my favorites out of this group um, for spicy picks. Um, well, for one, for some reason, um, like Hypno isn't in that. I guess Hypno isn't in the most played. Hypno is probably one of my favorite. Um, but I don't know if Hypno is not going to be allowed in Go Battle League or not. It wasn't allowed in on the Sylph Vortex. Uh, I think stuff like maybe Mandy Buzz is going to be really good. Um, Umbreon's not allowed, um, is probably going to be out, but Mandy Buzz, Swellios might be in there for a couple of really good dark Pokemon. Uh, I think Probo Pass is going to be a really good one. Uh, it's kind of your stand in for Bastiodon. I think Probo Pass could be a really good spicy pick. Um, Lapras is going to be in there, Polyrath. Uh, I think even maybe Crustle could be a good one. Yeah, there's quite a few good options. Um, but if we just go to like Great League. The GL is for Great League. It's how I tag my Pokemon for Great League. That way I can just search GL and I get all my Great League Pokemon. Um... So, I don't know. Like it, it Surfetch. There's there's a lot of Pokemon that can't be used. I think um, those are definitely some of them. I think Lapras is going to be really good. Um, I think things like Swellios is going to be in there. I think Talonflame is definitely going to be pretty popular. It's pretty popular now. It's brand new. Uh, Mandy Buzz will be in there for sure. Um, Vigoroth maybe. Maybe Lucario because a lot of the Mud Bombers aren't going to be allowed. I don't know. Lucario, Lucario used to be so good, but ever since all the Stun Fisks and all the other, I call them the Mud Bombers. All your, they're basically all your ground water types and ground attackers with. Um, mud shot that charge ground attacks really fast. Um, Lucario just kind of got weakened out. Yeah, I don't know if I have a, have a number one pick. It really depends on what what um, Go Battle League says you can't play. I think I'll definitely I'll definitely go over like once we know once we get to that remix cup or whatever it's called where we can't play certain stuff. I'll definitely go through it all and kind of go through what my top stuff is and talk about it a little more then. Um, it's hard to say exactly what uh, what Go Battle League doesn't. If it's going to be a straight mathematical calculation, it just looks at the top 10 or 15 whatever Pokemon they're choosing that you can't play. That's why a lot of people are, are, are kind of thinking... Um, Oh well, if we don't, you know, if we don't play those Pokemon right now, maybe they won't go into it. Uh, I haven't finished the quest yet. I need to catch one more dragon and then move along. I guess I actually probably maybe should just try to charm him down and not use this. That's okay. I'll just do as much damage as I can. Mm, okay, we'll go with Stunfisk here. Switches. Aha!
Uh, we're gonna block. Sludge Bomb, good block. Down he goes. Back comes in the bug. He's gonna zap us. Discharge. Oof. No shields, but I don't think he can get us in time. No, he doesn't know he doesn't do enough damage. And he just quits. Somebody told me there are posts to do battles in China for anyone to come and they will pay you. That's weird. Let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah, you also have to catch like 30 Pokemon, um, a Pokemon for 30 days for an entire month, so it takes a while to get that quest done. Ooh, a regular Stunfisk lead, not the Galarian one. Okay. Um, I'll take the first one. Discharge. Ow. I'll block the second one, and then I'll Psychic him back and see if I can get rid of one of his shields. Okay, here we go. Otherwise, maybe he'll just let a Stunfisk go. Wouldn't mind getting rid of this regular Stunfisk. It's kind of annoying. Okay, let's it go. What does it come back with? Ooh. Okay, we'll take the first one because the second one is the one I want to block because that's going to have his higher flame charge number. Oof. Hurts. Rock slide. Oof. I don't know if I'll get there. Oh, we do. Nice. Another set of rocks. Get that shield. Get that birdie out of the sky. <laughs> Lag. Oh, he lets it go. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Uh, and he quits. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I was not. I, I was thinking he was gonna block that and finish burning down my guy. And then I was have to. And then I was have to finish him off with a fairy type. Interesting. GG. Lance Rome. All right, let's go. Clefable. Politoed. All right, charms for days. Okay, we'll take the first one. I'll mix it up. I'll actually take the first one, maybe block the second one. Oh, it just goes right to Earthquake. Ooh, ow. It's okay. Mm, I have Psychic here. Okay, I'm going to block. Oh, he got another one in. <sighs> Shoot. Thing charges way too fast. I kind of uh, goofed that for sure. He's got Azu. 
Okay. Dang. Well, I'll get a shield here probably with the Psychic. Well, I almost got the second one in. Okay, I have to go Wigglytuff. Darn it. I got... I was I got kind of greedy there. I was really hoping I could get him on the charm and then have the attack for whatever came out next. I got pretty greedy there. And it's going to cost me this match. I think I could have won it if I didn't. Dang. Yeah, he's got this for sure. I can't compete now. I think so. Meta chance is gonna hurt break me. If he has ice punch psychic, I might be able to take him out, but the Azu's just gonna finish me probably. Ice punch. Yeah. GG. Yeah, I, I, I messed that up, folks. I got greedy with my Clefable. Mother Paws, how's your head, says Tazzy Paws. Mm, it's okay. Yeah, I think Azu will be one of the ones that isn't played. Alright, well, that's going to wreck our potential for a 5-0, but we're still on track to maybe get a 4-1. We have another three victories for sure, but dang, I had that too, I think. I got greedy. Trying to get uh, that Politoed down on a charm and keep my energy up. Oof, that's not a good start. Let's see what he does. He earthquakes right away, okay. Oh, he switches to Azu. Okay. Takes the hit. That's a problem because I really needed that. Um, I kind of wanted to fight him out and get rid of his stun fisk with my stun fisk, maybe. Let's take it. I can't use two shields. Hydra pump. Dang. Go wiggly tough. Um, yeah, too bad. This is kind of what happens when you play against teams that are kind of like um, multi double typings. You're kind of you're kind of trying to stack yourself against certain types of teams, but then uh, you leave yourself open to other types of teams because uh, you're double typing and kind of putting yourself in kind of a special kind of corner of the market. You can kind of say for PvP. So yeah. 
If he had not switched out his stun fist and he had fought me straight down, I would have gotten him because he couldn't have competed later on with that against my fairy typing, but uh, he did that, so. Oh, I got a Lampert. That's crazy. That's some good um, Litwick candy right there. But we got another 3 2, so I'm happy with it. It's another. Um, there we go, rank 19. Ooh, we got ourselves a, T, uh, a TM there. Oh, hey, there's a Chansey here. Oh, shoot, really? That was a cluster. Suddenly I care about Chanseys. Oh, I didn't. Why do you care about Chanseys all of a sudden? Uh, trading them to get the XL candy to make. Bernadette even more. Oh, right, yes, because you want to make a level 50 um, Hundo Bern Blissey. I want to make Bernadette even, even more uh, mean. Sorry, I forgot how to English there. It's okay. So the gotcha back on here. Nice to get that TM though. All right, let's click on on that. We're still in the gym. Looks like whoever's been stoning it got bored again. Let's go recent down. See if we tagged anything interesting while we've been doing Go Battle League. Doesn't look like it. Um, let's go items. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Welcome in. No, I don't want to run instance right now. I just want to scroll down. Yeah, it was an elite charge TM. Nice. Good, and I got two. Got to figure out what I want to do with 100, 187 rare candy. That's starting to pile up, too. I got to start putting that in the Pokemon, but I don't know. I got so much I got so much candy of all the other legendaries right now. I don't really need it. I'm trying to wait for us to get something uh, new that I actually want candy for. All right, let's go for another round here, everyone, and let's keep this going. So, 3-2 average again. Kind of narrowly missed out on a couple 4-1s there with a few bad luck, but um, I think we've been pretty pretty solid today, so running this interesting kind of double fairy team. Another Politoed lead. All right, Shadow Toad, though. Uh, that fast. He's just going for a straight water weather ball. We'll, we'll let the first one through. He's not multi-charging up, which is kind of interesting there. I'm going to block his second one. Switch over to Polito. That way, um, Clefable can keep his charge, but I don't have to use a shield. But I can stay alive. Goes to Registeel. Oh, okay. Gross. That's kind of mean. Unfortunately, I wish I had um, an extra shield. Because his Focus Blast is going to kill me. I have to block because I can't take Focus Blast. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to fake him out. We're going to go Rock Slide. And then try to get to another Earthquake before he Focus Blasts me again. Oh, he takes it. Dang it. Wow, that was gutsy, unless he didn't care about it. He doesn't care about the Regis deal. Switch back to Toad, we get him. He's got Mewtwo, what? What? Mewtwo in Great League? I, got, I wish I got that attack in there, but... Okay, Psy strikes me. If 
If I would, oh, I, I couldn't get the meter mash off in time. We got that side strike up. I wish I got that meter mash in because I would have had him probably. I might still get him though. As long as he's a focus blast or shadow ball on that thing. Like. Oh, he has focus blast on it. Weird. I don't know. Shadow Mewtwo is just way too glassy. Yeah, Shadow Mewtwo? Even if I got even if I got that meter mash off, I didn't get the rock slide in time. So he would have just got me, but man, that's weird. He almost interesting move there. And I, I think I think Mewtwo is just way too glassy. He just dies so easily. That's why he saved both of his shields for his Mewtwo, because obviously it can't take any damage. But interesting. All right, let's keep going here, though. All right, Azu. All right, I'll block his first hit. Ice beams me, okay. Psychic coming in. Sh shields that. Okay, we don't get the debuff though. Uh, we're. I'm not gonna block the next one. Plays rough. Okay. Should be able to race him down on autos though. Comes in with Marowak. Okay, we'll go Stunfisk here. Right into a rock slide. Takes the hit. Oh, he goes, nice, we switched to Fairy type. Take this, Sableye. He's got return on that guy though. Mmm. Let's block. He might have returned by now. Yes, return. Good block. Okay, we get rid of him. Nice. And he quits. GG. All right. Good run there. Okay, let's keep it going. Anto Antonio. Clefable, Swampert. All right. Got to watch out for Sludge Wave. He switches right away to Nine Tails. All right. Uh, Ice Weather Ball. We'll take the first one. Okay, we got rid of him. Comes back with Swampert. We'll go Psychic into him. Shields it. Taking good charm damage there. He's definitely multi-charging. Okay, so he's, we're going to lose Clefable. See what he does with an attack. Probably Hydra Cannon. Go with Wigglytuff. Mm. Okay, we'll block here. It's probably Hydra Cannon again, but I don't want to risk getting Sludge Waved. Hydra Cannon again, that's fine. Mm. 
Venusaur, a bit of a pain. This is gonna be tricky. Feel like I might not win this one. Shields it, obviously, okay. Another attack, I feel like I'm just a bit too far away. I don't know if I can be able to get to an Ice Beam on time on Wigglytuff, it's gonna be close. Oof, he has another attack up. Frenzy Plant, I survive, Sludge Bomb, I die. Sludge Bomb, ow. Dang. Yeah, Venusaur is one of those Pokemon I don't like with this team. Um, unfortunately. Kind of a mean one there. Hopefully we can bounce back and get a couple wins here and still make this a positive run. Because we're 1-2 and two right now. Clefable. Azu again, okay. Switch to Stunfisk. Okay, we'll switch to Stunfisk 2. We'll just kind of do this match. Half to block. He earthquaked me, okay. Okay, we rock slide. Hopefully get a shield for cheap. Blocks it, obviously. This might be rock slide, but I'm going to block. Okay, he earthquaked again. Good. Okay, I'm going to take a big risk and earth rock slide again. Come on, out race some. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I had it too. You just got the trigger before me. Oh, we had it just on there, but he got beat the tie break. Too bad. Um, man, I thought I, I just, yeah, I had it at the exact same time, but he got the earthquake off before I did. Oh, we survived that though. Why I went, I went, um, I should try to switch there because I think this is a rock slide and, and, um, Clefable could have survived that, but, um, oof. can I beat, can I get to that psychic first? No, dang, Venusaur again, stupid Venusaurs. Shoot. Wow. I got stomped. That sucked. Oh, rough final set here, folks. It's been fun all day, though. I've been running this double fairy team. I don't think I'll run this team tomorrow. I'll probably mix it up and try something else. Something interesting. We've been running double fairy. We did double fighting there for a while, too. Kind of went 3-2 average, going 3-2 average with double fairy. It's kind of um, interesting. I think a lot a lot of things in the universe kind of have to line up uh, in order to get... Um, um, Really good runs. Like, you just have to get the matches in your favor quite often. Okay, he switches to Hypno. He has Talon Flame there. Okay. Takes the first rock slide. Rock slide him again. Sh 
shields it. Hmm. I'm going to let this go. Like, if he has Focus Blast, fine, but he does. That's... I don't know about that. Such a weird... I don't know. I think Shadow Ball is still better. I guess Focus Blast may be tweaking there as a Focus Blast because there's so much steel and rock around, but I don't know. Talonflame versus Fairy here. Okay, we'll take the first one. It's going to be Flame Charge. Oof. His attack goes up. Yeah. Gonna block the second one. He's gonna get me. Too bad. It's just really uncommon to actually see... Um, too bad he has a shield because I would have just got him. It's really uncommon to see... Um, Hypno with Focus Blast. Normally it's Shadow Ball. And I could have survived it. Um, that's just kind of like one of those off-meta random things you kind of see there. Oof, that is a bad final set. But we do get a Scraggy out of it. It's kind of one of those off-meta things you don't really expect. I do that kind of stuff too. Like running my Fire Blast on my um, Shadow Bone Marowak. To kind of get, keep people off balance. He got me there. It's so uncommon to see it though, so I think I think more often the right move there is, uh, but we hit rank twenty with that one win. <laughs> rank twenty, and we're starting out pretty low, but overall, starting out at twenty, we have twenty seventy three as a score number now. Got to get to rank twenty one. So I think that's gonna do us for battles. Oh, we got one more set. Alrighty then. Okay, I thought we were done. Alright, let's go one more time. One more time. Let's keep going. See if we can have a better run on this final set here. Ooh, don't like that as a starting match. Venusaur. Frenzy Plants. Oh, I got a block. I don't want to. I'm really hoping he lets his Venusaur go. Psychic coming in here. Shields it. Well, I'm just going to hammer him down. Dang. Well, let's go wiggly tough here and just try to get him on charms. He won't be able to get another attack in, I don't think. Okay, his Venusaur's gone. Oh, Stunfisk. I can't switch. Brutal. I can't switch. He'll just Earthquake me. That's like one thing I just did not want to see an Earthquaker with no shield. Shoot. Well, come on, come on. Oh, he didn't get too much charge now. I can't switch and try to beat him out. Yeah, there's no point in switch. Well, he's got me. I can switch. He's just going to outrace race me. Ugh. Stunfisk. Ooh. I need to go for the Earthquake for the kill. Dang. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. For Ultras, oh, I, I think Ultras harder than Great League now, though. Like, it's going to be a grind all the way up. Oh, up against an Ace Trainer, Tabasco. Oh, there's a Bastion lead, too. Um, I think I honestly just let Clefable die and then go to Stunfisk normally. Um, there's no point in switching because then he'll just counter and escape. But yeah, I don't think we'll play Double Fairy tomorrow. I kind of just want... I was having fun with it, but... Um, the ideal matchups are just kind of disappearing again. It's kind of hard. It's been fun, though. Okay, I'll block Flamethrower. Goes to Razor Leafer. I don't really like that as a switch. But I kind of have to. That's just mean. GG, he's got me. Dang, hard matches. I'm not going to bother trying to switch it up or anything. I'm just going to finish playing with what I have. But, um, I don't know. It's not, uh, not ideal. Back comes the Bastio. Well... I'll go rock slide, try to get his shield. Like, there's, there's no point in earthquake, and he'll block here, so. Oh, he takes the hit. Okay, whatever. I guess he was just going to let his other Pokemon finish me and just keep his shield for that. Oh, he's double grass. Gross. I do get a rock slide in. Um, shields that. Hmm. Double grass. Interesting. Yeah, I was double fairy. He's double poison grass. Fair enough. Just seen some interesting teams. I don't know. Go Battle League is so hard to match up to make like the ideal team because it's just so random what you see now. There's so many good options. There's so there, there's so many good options of Pokemon. It's why I, I honestly like kind of like the I like the the limited cups because it kind of makes the leagues more narrow. Eighteen Pokemon types, and you can't and it's impossible to make a Pokemon team of three that can cover all eighteen types. It is not possible. Okay, there finally we get a good lead in our advantage. Uh, um, I'll, we'll just stick it out with Clefable here, though. Um, because I know I, I have Wiggly to deal with the Obstacoon later, so that's not the problem. So we'll Meteor Mash here. He shields as well. He's got wiggly tough as well. Okay. Guess maybe I shouldn't have got a switch there. Because I'm just going to beat up my other fairy type here. And that obstacle is going to be annoying.
Comes in with the Obstacoon. Okay, we got a shield though, so we can Earthquake him. Might be okay here. Earthquake's gonna hurt Obstacoon pretty good. Boom. We'll block. Night Slash is going for the, I think he's going for the combat boost. Switch to Clefable. Charm Hits coming in. So really hoping I could have taken him out there. Almost got him dead though, but. Ooh, Cross Chop. Okay, got him down. Comes back with Wiggly with a charge. No! Gets me. Oh, man. That one was in our favor, too. Just getting me there. Too bad. Rough, rough final set here, folks. End of the day. Um, where'd it go? If you could only choose three Pokemon types to always battle with, what would be the best? Types, not Pokemon. Types? Mmm. Loaded question. Um, let me think about that for a little bit. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that for a little bit. I'll, I will get back to that before I sign out. Oh, I don't want to do that, but I don't want to lose my charge. Hurricane. Oof. Ow. Oh, it's last Pokemon's Politoed. GG. I can't do anything with that. Don't think I can deal with that. If he has Earthquake on that Toad, definitely not. Uh, we're going to find out here real quick if I'm dead. Earthquake, I'm dead. Water weather, yeah, I'm probably still dead. He's so overcharged. I miss playing my Politoed. I think I'm going to have to bring it back. Well, let's keep going. Finish it out with the double fairy team today, though. Okay, there's a good open. Umbreon. Getting that one in our favor. Switches to Hypno. Okay, I'll just stick it out with the Cliff Able then. Um, <laughs> fire punches me, ow. Um, let's meter mash here. Shields it, good. We'll come in with Umbreon. I mean, come in with, um... Uh, 
a block this here. Fire Punch will hurt. Focus Blast would be mean. Fire Punch for sure. Another one coming in. Okay, we'll take this one. It's going to be a Fire Punch again. Okay, get a little bit more charge. We'll Rock Slide. Come out with Umbreon or something else. Comes in with the Umbreon, okay. Smash down wiggly tufts. Racing for that char that ice beam. Got to the ice beam. Does he block? Does he not? He blocks it. Okay. Charms. Oh, but he gets the uh, he gets the priority, is it? He must have a higher attack stat. Dang, he got lucky. I needed to get that Wigglytuff down or get the Rock Slide in there first. That's just bad luck. Yeah. Oh, well. What a day. Started out pretty good. Now it's just been um, really grindy. Last night was for you too, though. Yeah. Over five. Ouch. But we get to rank ace anyway. I guess we didn't need to win anything to finish that. Just need to do the battles. Huh. Well, we did get ace. Um, ranks a little low. Pretty much the bottom of the basement. Um. So lots of room to improve. But I think it was a fun day. I'm not going to run Double Fairy again. Um, we'll mix it up. I'll, try, I'll probably go back to a more uh, standard team, kind of a team of three. Go back to something a little more uh, properly strategy built team. But uh, still a decent day. We got there. Lots of room to grow. So, And we got lots of time for the whole season. Like I said, it's gonna be, these seasons are so long now. Lots of time to get two more ranks expert, so we got lots we got lots of area to improve, so overall pretty good. It was fun. I had a lot of fun running double fairy. It was kind of cool. Alright. One last time. Put on the two the face mask. These are now available if anyone wants to get one. Uh they're really nice masks. Uh, yeah, so to the face on one side, cat paws logo on the other side, adjustable straps, triple layered uh, storm tech masks. Yeah, don't. All right, the question, the question. Yes, let's do a little Q and A right now. We'll kind of hang out for a bit. Great league. Um, if I was to play three types, um. If I can only choose three types to battle with, uh, is this for all three leagues or just Great League? Mm, let's just do Great League. For if, I, if we say just Great League, because it, it drastically depends on what um, league we're talking about, like Ultra, I'd probably play slightly different for Ultra, and I'd probably play slightly, slightly different um, definitely for Master League for sure. Um Taz says do both. Sorry, I got a smudge on my glasses. Um, all right, so I'm thinking, okay, so for one, uh, because my two favorite Pokemon types are Dark and Ghost, I would definitely have to say Dark um, because Dark covers, uh, you have some pretty tanky stuff with Umbreon. You have, you have really good options for Dark. 
you have Umbreon, you have Swellios, uh, Swellios, you have Obstacoon, you have Scrafty, um, you have Sableye, um, Mandy Buzz, even Mighty Hyena can be kind of cool sometimes. Uh, you have a Lowland Mock, so lots of good options for for dark, dark and Dark can cover quite a lot of areas. It covers it covers like anything psychic or ghost related. It's pretty good neutral coverage overall. Uh, so I definitely would say Dark would be one of the three I would choose to go with all the time. Let's say okay. So let's say I pick Dark as like my primary starting point. Now I got to think. I'm going to need stuff that I got to think what beats dark. So things that def that beat dark are fighting and fairy primarily are the two things that dark don't want to see. Um, uh, so then we got to think about what kind of things to play uh, to beat those options. Um, I think another really good option I think would actually be probably go something like ghost because that allows you to play a lowland marowak. Lowland Marowak, because he's also fire type, makes him resistant uh, to fairy attacks. And he's actually, and unless it's wiggly tough, shadow ghost attacks are good coverage for those. Fire, it hits fairies pretty good. And because your ghost attack, because your ghost type, fighting moves aren't effective against you. You got to watch out for secondary moves like rock slide on Machamp and some other things, but I'd probably say like ghost dark would probably be like, and those are my two favorite Pokemon types anyway, overall in the game. So ghost dark. Um, and then if we're thinking something that covers ghosts, like, well, okay, what, what now, what, what hurts ghosts? Well, dark hurt ghosts, but we have a dark type to maybe, maybe cover that, but maybe we want to cover, um, I would probably say ghost, Dark Ghost and Fighting. Because there's a lot of really cool options you can go with fighting types. Um, you can go straight fighting. There's fighting water types. I think Ghost Dark Fighting would probably be some definite options. There's lots. There's so many good options, though. Like It depends on what you want to play. Like, I'm not touching Hypno in there. I'm not touching Psychic types. Uh, but Ghost and Dark, I think, would be... Because Marowak... It allows you to play things like Marowak. It allows you to play things like Drift Blim. Uh, you can play all the Haunter, the Gengar lines. Uh, you can play... Well, you can play Sableye with both. Um, you can play Frostlass for Ice. So you got Ice in, in there. Yeah, lots of cool options. Um, so... Fighting is one, but maybe not all. Like you could, I could definitely see maybe going. Like grass could be a good one in there too, uh, because Marowak is because Marowak is also a fire type. You might want to go. Uh, like grass or something that way you can play Venusaur. You can play Whimsy Scott. Uh, you can play Snover. Obama Snow. I mean, yeah. The third, the the final one is kind of the hard one because that kind of locks you in. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, ground might might also be a decent one too, or steel. Kind of depends. But like if you lock yourself in, but then you're definitely leaving yourself vulnerable to certain things. So you, and you can't build, you can't build a team that covers everything. Um, but then if we're talking all three leagues overall. Especially going up into Master. I'm going to say Psychic. Psychic. Dragon. Psychic, Dragon, and... Darker Ghost, probably... Psychic Dragon, Darker Ghost, probably as three. I'm cutting out Groudon, though. But Dragon allows you to get Dialga, allows you to get Garchomp, the Zekrom, the Reshrams, Dragonite. Um, 
allows you to get Giratina. So I probably wouldn't go Ghost because I can get I could get Giratina. Maybe Psychic Dragon and Water or Ground. Maybe Water because then Water would allow you to get Kyogre. It would allow you to get other things like Gyarados, Swampert. Even though, you know, Swampert is... Swampert. You can get Empoleon with that. Yeah. But I think Psychic and Dragon. If I had to go... Psychic and Dragon for sure, because Mewtwo is just nuts. Allows you to play things like in all three leagues that we, that we have access to Mewtwo. You have access to Cresselia. You have access to Hypno. Uh, Dragon is good in all three metas as well. Yeah, and then to round that off. Yeah, it's hard to say. is the final one. But I'd probably go something like either ground or water. Probably water. Probably Kyogre. Kyogre, yeah, water. Because water types are very good uh, for all three metas too. Yeah, it's it, it's really hard to just pick three, but that's probably what I would go. Psychic for, for all... If I had to pick for all three leagues, I'd probably go Psychic, Dragon, Water. But yeah. Capped on PvP battles today. The, trip, the double fairy team. Uh, overall, like... It was going 3-2 average. We came close to getting a couple 4-1s. Came close to getting a 5-0. It kind of tapered off as we started to see more and more teams that were just kind of harder counters, trouble for the the team we had built. Um, so going forward tomorrow, I'm probably going to play something now, especially now that we're ranked, we're ace trainer. Now that we have an actual rank and we kind of really got to start trying to move up that number, I'm going to go probably play something that's a little more um, balanced, um, try to cover more stuff. I think, yeah, I think Politoed's going to come back for sure. He's been a lot of fun, a really strong opponent. But I, I kind of just wanted to goof around and have some fun for that. So tomorrow, uh, I'll probably come back with a more balanced team. I might even play what I kind of had there. I might just go... Alolan Marowak, Politoed, something else maybe. I don't know if Talonflame will stick around or not. We'll see. I kind of feel what, see what I feel like playing tomorrow. But yeah. So thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for all the comments. Um, so we got, um, what's the date today? 13th or 14th? 13th. So tomorrow, just so everyone remembers, tomorrow is uh, Beldum Incense Day. Uh, so make sure you're running your incense tomorrow. And you can uh, also remember, if you if you, if you forgot or didn't know, uh, if you evolve um, evolve it into a, a Mentang, into a Metagross tomorrow during the event, it gets Meter Mash. So if you don't have a... Um, if you don't have a Meter Mash Metagross yet, tomorrow is definitely the day to get one. So, and you should get one. And you should definitely get one because Metagross is like amazing for both PvE and PvP. So yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for hanging out. It was a fun day. Uh, I'll be going to sign off here pretty quick. And then uh, I'll be back on tomorrow for another day of brunch battles. Uh, do you get incense for free? Uh, do you, there, I think there's one in the shop. If you go to the shop, let's see. Um, they might come up with a free box. I think there's supposed to be one in the shop for, I don't know, or like a one coin box, but I don't know how many incense you get in it. Yeah. Uh, you might have to Cass, buy... you're from the future, you let us know. Do you have the, the incense box? You might have to buy a few. Like, you can get eight for 250 coins. It's, it's not that bad. Um... I'm, but I'm pretty sure they'll be... I'm pretty sure they will give out some free incense. There might even be a quest that gets you an incense. Um, 
I've heard that if you don't have any coins, currently you can write to support and they will give you a coin so that you can buy the um, event boxes. Okay. The one coin boxes. So yeah, if you don't have any coins, you might be able to like write in and they will give you one coin so you can get the basically get the free box. Uh, but there, there might there might also come up with quests to get them. But that's also why you know you, you want you you really you have thirteen coins, okay? Because uh, there's there's probably gonna be a fr a free or a one coin box that I'll get you started, and I'm not sure if they're coming up with a quest or not to get that. So. Yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going and get off my dates. Um, gonna go have lunch and hang out and do some stuff for the rest of the day. Uh, feel free to shoot me a message later on. I'll get back, I'll get to, back to you. Maybe um, if anyone needs help or suggestions, uh, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. So until then. Um, Get out there, catch Pokemon, be safe, and I'll see you all very soon. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to check out the mask on Facebook. Under, uh, 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 sorry, on, uh, on Discord. To the face. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.